What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. Now, before anyone freaks out and goes straight into fanboy mode, which they probably will do anyway, hear me out and listen to what I have to say. I see it now, there will be a lot of people who will just judge the title or thumbnail without watching the content first, so I'm already prepared. Moving on. For the last week, the decline of online Guardian for Destiny 2 has tremendously grown. I must have had like 9 pages of friends for the first couple of days, maybe 3 or so, after the release of the Curse of Osiris, today it's more like half a page. Half a single page. I want to state a few facts based on what I've seen so far. The majority of the content eating Destiny community is bored, and it's because of the content in Destiny 2 just isn't there or it's being consumed way too fast. Hashtag WTF. As a community, we were promised constant content rolling out, but it doesn't seem like it's happening, or more so content is rolling out like it did when the first Destiny was released. The next content release is the second expansion to Destiny 2, which there has been many quote, take it with a grain of salt, end quote, DLC leaks. Personally, I like facts, and I don't like talking about speculation that much. The second expansion will most likely come early next year, and it'll have a short story, a few missions, maybe like one or two new NPCs, new weapons, new armor, probably more returning exotics from Destiny 1, new ships, speeders, emotes, a new or returning planet from Destiny 1, and the same enemies that we have been destroying for the last four years. Now, the leak did say that there will be new enemies, but again, that is just hearsay until it's an official word from Bungie. Truthfully, I don't think Bungie would give us any type of new enemies on an expansion, and they would probably wait for more so for a huge DLC drop. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to get at is that a lot of people in the forums, my family, my friends, and also people in Destiny groups on Facebook have all been saying for a while that Destiny as a franchise, and not just Destiny 2, is just plain old lifeless. Six feet under, unalive, it's pretty much dead. As much as I love the franchise and have been a dedicated player since the beta of the original Destiny, I'm starting to kind of agree. I know, I know. It's a shocker to those who personally know me, especially since I'm a diehard Destiny fan. Many will agree that we are in a slow period in the game, and that's okay. We've completed the Red War, as well as the Curse of Osiris campaign on multiple characters. We did speedruns on strikes, preyed on the weak in PvP, <laughs> and killed off a machine callus at least 20 times a week even when we didn't want to, which is obviously an exaggeration, but you get the idea. The new raid layer was definitely fun and I really hope Bungie does more stuff like this and most likely they will for the second expansion, but it was quick to do and without any other videos my clan and I went in blind and figured most of it out on our own. If all that wasn't enough, we also have public events that some dumbass completes while you're trying to activate the heroic version. I don't know, things in Destiny 2 have just become so repetitive, nobody wants to do it anymore. The loot is the same and there is no groundbreaking weapon or armor that people shoot for like they did in Destiny 1, minus the Actium War Rig, Ophidian Aspect, and the Orpheus Rig. Yes, the whole idea of Masterworks is a great addition to Destiny 2, and yes, it is progress in the right direction. Destiny 2 in its current state has a lot of room for improvement. So far, it's just seeming like another expansion to Destiny 1 versus an entirely new game due to the way content is rolling out. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, Destiny 2 is a continuation of the original game. And I get it. I won't argue that. But, just like Evolution, the Destiny franchise needs to change, which is why I started the new series What Needs to Change for this channel and hopefully somebody from Bungie watches it and brings up the points that I make. Also, I want to thank each and every one of those people who retweeted the last What Needs to Change video to Bungie and you guys are awesome. And thank you for your support. I understand that change is not going to happen overnight or in a month or two, but some change is better than none. It's because of that change that I know there is a lot of potential that can go into this game, which is why I still make content for it, and I always will continue to do so. What some fans need to understand is that Bungie is listening to us, but they can't change things every single time somebody cries about something. 
Now, the first week of the Prometheus lens? Yeah, that shit needed to be changed. However, a lot of people liked that the Prometheus lens was OP. Yes, I said it, OP. Overpowered. Cry about it. One of my clanmates Alucard said, and I quote, It's like having a hardcore mode in Destiny, end quote. And I truthfully 100% agree with him. It was fun. I had a blast going in PvP with my Prometheus lens and killing shit. And yeah, I got killed too, but still, that's not the point. <laughs> but Destiny has a very bright future as long as new content is rolling out, especially when it's a very huge IP. I know that expansion and growth for the franchise and the game will continue and I am very much looking forward to what is to come in the near future as well as the distant one. So let me know what you guys think of the current state of Destiny 2. Do you still play? Did you leave the game entirely? Are you waiting for the next expansion to be released before you come back or did you just want me to shut up already? I heard your thoughts and that was completely rude. Hey also don't forget that on Christmas Day at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a few changes are coming to the channel that I think you guys would like, so stay tuned. And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you guys have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I'll see you guys next time.